Also, I just want to make sure. Can you hear Kurt? <laughs> That's a good thing to know. Can everyone okay, hear me? I think they can. I see your thing popping up. So I think they can hear you. 2D Wham on one screen, 2D 3D Wham on the other. Yes, if you guys don't know, also, I hope the shout out did go through for Matted Fur. Okay, it did. Matted Fur is very kindly working on a 3D model for me, which is super exciting. Whoop whoop! I am coming to every form. Next will be 1D. 1D. Four, and then 4D. The fourth dimension, which is. What is the fourth dimension? Is it like smell? Or taste or something? I don't remember. I hope it's not taste actually now that I think I don't want to be tasted. Bless! <laughs> Bless, don't cast light when you like this. Oh yeah, so last time I just started following her without even prefacing. Last time we left off when uh when what's his name? Rivali? No, not that's from Birth of the Wild. What was the little the little Zara's name? It started with an R, I think. His mom has showed up as a ghost, and now we're following her to wherever she may be. We're gonna go us. see Colin in, his, in the graveyard because he died. Oh no, Colin! That I thought happens. I saved you. Damn, I couldn't do it a thing about it. The figment of your imagination. Ah, so 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 many such cases. Yep. Wow, it's glowing. Wow. Oh, okay. Yeah, today's it, gonna be the gone. best day because it's Water Temple Day. How do you feel about the Water Temple in this game, Kurt? Um, you know, to be fair, it's not that memorable yeah. to me. Like, there are definitely better, better dungeons. Like the snow one. I love the snow one. Oh yeah, the snow one was a lot of fun. But also I yes. had such trouble navigating that one. I got like stuck so many times on that one. <laughs> oh yeah, did I I don't remember if I got water bombs, did I? You did not. I think I just like got told about them. Yeah. So I need to go back and get the water bombs. I am deeply grateful to you for aiding my son in his time of need. You are right to bring him here. Takariko Village is a sacred place for the Zora people. It is where we take our eternal rest. My husband and life, King Zora, also rests his spirit here. It is no coincidence my son found his salvation in this place. That which I have promised you is within this grave. During his lifetime, my husband created garments specifically for the chosen hero. Garments that house the abilities of the Zora. They may look a little goofy, but that's okay. <laughs> I got the gar! Now I can swim. But better. Yeah. Now at last I can join the king in slumber. And yet my son, he still knows nothing of my death. If you see him again, please pass on this message. Tell him he must not grieve his mother's passing. Tell him she wanted him to be brave and live on as the king of our people. And tell him his mother loves him without end. Tell him. Well, it's a good thing you found all your friends and picked up that nifty Zora armor. But aren't you forgetting something kind of important? That last few shadow. Remember what Pharaoh the Light Spirit said? He said you would need the few shadows to defeat the Dark Overlord Zant and save the world. So even if you go back now with all the people you saved, the whole tragedy would just repeat itself. So let's go get it. We need to go to the temple on the lake bed of Lake Hylia. Alright, alright, alright. First, I need to get some water bombs. I got some rocks to blow up. <laughs> if only I could buy bombs as a wolf.
If only. If only. Then I could run around and do all the chores I need to do way faster. I have to just stare at the map on the screen instead of following my instincts to not get lost. <laughs> Oh yeah, I should also see what what Malo is selling at the shop. Yes. I need to check all the shops. I can't check the night one yet, though. It's still not night. Where's my ocarina when I need it? Hey. <laughs> I like the way the water bombs look. They're kind of funny. They're so cute. Um... I want a bunch. Oh, okay, so I can only have one type of bomb. Well, I'm taking only water bombs, then. Can I buy any more? Nope. Alright. Just 15 bombs, I gotta use them sparingly. <laughs> I need a bigger bomb bag. So I can carry infinite bombs. All the bombs. Did I ever tell you the story of the D and D party that uh, had a bag full of like uh, like hundreds of bombs? No. So this was a story uh, posted, I think, on Reddit from a DM, and he was talking about how he like made the mistake of making bombs available for the party. And the bombs were really cheap to purchase for the party. It was like, I think, five gold pieces of bomb or something. There he is. <laughs> like, where is he? <laughs> um, which was supposed to be kind of, like, expensive for the common folk, of course. It's supposed to be, anyways. I felt like it was still kind of affordable or something. And the party immediately took, like, took to purchasing many of these bombs. He didn't think it was a big deal because one bomb kind of did, like, eh, not too much damage by itself. Plus, you know, you had to, like, throw it, like, ignite the fuse, set it off, and throw it and all that. But they had this idea, at least one person had this idea, to get a bag of holding and fill it completely with bombs. <laughs> and he was, like, I think he was a flying character, kind of like Riffy. And they, uh -huh. were fight they were, like, fighting this, like, evil, big, bad wizard who was, like, supposed to be, like, their final boss. And he was like, hey, DM, can I fly over this evil wizard and just drop, like, just pour out this bag of bombs on top of him? And the DM was like, uh, how many bombs do you have? <laughs> and after, I think he had, like, 300 or something. The DM was oh like, God. Did you just make a nuke? <laughs> Wait, no. That's beautiful. Yeah. He was like, how do So I let them do this. How do the whole thing was, how do I move on forward from this? My party is just going to keep doing this over and over again. What can I do? <laughs> And I think what people were saying in the comments was like, well, you know what you should do? Now that they have invented the nuke, now all the other people in the world are going to also get nukes. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, no, it was the other pond that had it. Ah. Sun. Anyway, all I need is a really big bag of bombs. <laughs> oh god, Riffy. I am not gonna... <laughs> that is not gonna be possible with my game. Definitely tell you that straight up. <laughs> You're not gonna nuke everything. <laughs> I have le read this story and I have learned from this story. <laughs>
god, god, really? Dick. A rupee. Wow. Twenty dollars. Nice. What is in the secret tunnel? Secret tunnel, secret tunnel. Oh yeah, and I need to get to that tree for the heart piece that I still have. Right. So many things I must do. Where am I? The lake. Oh. Shortcut. <laughs> Wow, that was a quick shortcut. Let me go back. I don't think so. Nope. I wasn't ready to come here. I have other bombs to blow up. Midna. <laughs> Midna. Midna. No, Midna. <laughs> Midna. Rejected. Damn it. Uh. God damn. The queen should have warned me. I don't think I can get back from here. Can I? Oh yeah, I have to go through the, the tunnel, the catapult thingy. No, the cannon thingy again. But now it's not gonna be free. I think. It wasn't free the first time. Yeah, it was. You had to pay... Didn't you? Sure you I did. thought it was free. No, I don't think so. It was really cheap then. I remember being like, okay, sweet. Guys, yeah, someone check. How much did it cost me? And how much will it cost me now? <laughs> Watch, it's gonna cost me the 20 rupees I just found. <laughs> just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. What do you do? You swim. Oh, look, it's the prize thingy. I did that in like so many attempts to get all the prizes. Just keep slimming, just keep slimming. Can't believe Minna will let me frickin' work. <gasps> Alright, dude, get me in the cannon. Ten rupees, okay. Bam. Do you use uh do you use texture packs with your Minecraft girl? Yes. What do you, which ones do you like? Do you like, like, the cutie ones, or like, the realistic ones? I like the ones that make the game pretty. True. Like, I, I do like, um... I do like the ones that make it a little bit more realistic, but when it's too realistic, then I'm like, eh. <laughs> You know? Yeah. Like, then it's just like, okay, this... You know, you... You literally play Minecraft because of all the blocks, not because everything's round. Yeah, it's so simple. And, and nice. Yeah. And I think that's what Pixelmon, why Pixelmon is so weird to play. Because it's like, they're, okay, they're look. literally just the models, right? Yeah, because they're round and 
looks like Hobbleman looks like a lot of fun. Yeah. Even though they don't have all the Pokemon in, it's understandable because they're like making them. They're yeah. Crafting them. Yeah. I'm sorry, Cam. I think I just poked you. Rude. This freaking bird. I think I showed in uh, in my server somewhere else a little bit of the resource pack I use, which is all cutesy. I like it. I think it's called <laughs> Pastel Craft or something like that. Okay. I need to update it now though, because of the new the new update. Imagine they have something cute for cherry wood. Yeah. Which I'm really excited. I played a little bit with it in creative. So There's like so many new things in just the, the base Minecraft that I haven't looked at yet, like the chasm, I have not looked at it all. I think it's called the chasm or something like that. Wait, I'm excited. <laughs> You're going back to the town because you forgot something. Yeah, I'm just, I'm, is this the right way to go to town? I guess that's just a way. Yeah. Time to go all the way around. Minna's not gonna give me a ride. Minna, you wanna give me a ride? No? Gosh darn it. Minna, let me warp. I was like, no, you gotta work for it. I'm not a taxi service. It's just gonna be 20 minutes of me riding around trying to figure out where I am. <laughs> Yeah. 
horse riding simulator. <laughs> That's cool. No, yeah, don't roll. Grab it. There we go. <laughs> butterfly. A butterfly. And I gotta find the other butterfly. I know it's here somewhere. Gotta be around here, yeah. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Hmm. I just gotta listen. I gotta listen for the little tinkle sound. Or see a little glow. Look for the glow. There. Yeah. swinging around behind me. That's right. Maybe it's behind this rock. Money. 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 about the game constantly like showing you what the amounts were? Yes. Okay, I'm glad you're not the only one. I get it the first time, but then after that, it's like, please, I, I, I'm fine. Just tell me that it's money. That's all I really care about is that it's money. <laughs> More money! Oh, yeah, all the money. Even though you're almost full. Gonna... Hmm, can a bud be in the barrel? No, I don't feel like it's in the barrel. Ah, I see it. I see it. I see it too. That's gonna be so happy. Yes. No. There we go. Yay, I did it. Now I just need to get my pony. And then next time I come back, you'll be so proud of me. Yeah. No! Move. Why does everything have to be A button? <laughs> Nowadays, controllers have a billion buttons. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Left, right. By the way, did you see that they're making a Dungeon and Dragons movie? movie? Yes, yes, I did. I watched the I watched some trailers about it. Mm-hmm. I'm just like, oh, this would be very fun. Very accurate. Yep. I just really hope there's some epic thing where he jumps up, and tries to hit him, and misses, and they play that out. <laughs> Like, really well. That one. Yep. Speaking of which, why don't you tell them about our last session? Oh, uh, yeah. You want me to? <laughs> yeah. Hey, right, guys, you want to hear the amazing story of uh, our last session of D&D? &D? 
I'll go into like, de I said it briefly on the last stream, but I didn't really go into too much detail, except that everyone was very tired. I was sick, yeah. <laughs> so, the preface, this session started about like an hour later than we normally start, but like only 30 minutes later than we planned. Um, which wasn't too much of a problem. The way I planned this particular session was mostly like to be, you know, talking about stuff, planning stuff out. There wasn't supposed to be like any combat oh, or any plan. big moves or anything. It was just supposed to be like, okay, here's some stuff for you guys to think about. You have like the whole week to like consider options and stuff. You know, just so don't, don't worry about racking your brain power too much during this game. And I was for it. I was so for it. I was just like, yay, let's take it easy. So, it started with the, these guys. They, they're like in the middle of like, their big goal is to do a heist. Okay, those things are gone, I guess now. To do this big heist um, on a casino that is being run by some dragons. Um, but they do like all these little like side missions and stuff just for themselves. Um, but they were fine. They were going back to the town that they started in to talk to the original quest giver for this heist thing, so that they could like you know share what they've done and talk about. Um, next steps and stuff. Which is why I said this would be like mostly a planning session. So the game starts with them going to the tavern where this quest giver works as a as a bar bartender. She's like this dragonborn lady who they don't really trust too much because she made them sign a blood contract to work on her with this heist. Terrence hates that by the way. No, Terrence is very unhappy. He is still so upset about that. He's just like, we gotta figure out why she had to make a blood contract. Um, at this bar, there was like this party, this uh, party of uh, rivals that these guys beat up at an arena Demolished. previously. So they harassed these guys, they eventually left the bar, and then they started talking to bartender lady. Um, her name is Madam X. Ooh, uh, I bleak. think it just passed a- yep, bug. I heard you, little bug. So, they start talking, they, they, they're they like talking about what information they want to share, and stuff. They'll come back. Bruh. You little troll. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, I've gotten to it. Oh, there it nah. goes. It's leaving. Well, while I do this. Um... Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Uh, one thing that, th that happened was, um... Um, one of the party members, an Alan named Oswald, gave this rival gang, they gave him like a note that was like, hey, if you want to like stop working for this bar lady and work for us. Another side note, these guys are opening a tavern in another city because they want some extra money. So they're like, let's open a tavern and, you know, get some extra business that way. <laughs> <laughs> so they, they were asking this other party to work as bouncers and then this dragon lady to like go work there as a bartender. So that's going on. So he he passed a note saying this to to this this group. Um, I'm mentioning this because it becomes important later. <laughs> I should look for the other one on here. It's probably on the other side of the bridge. The bridge. Ah, uh, yeah, that would be Probe. that would be yeah. very thematic, wouldn't it? Mm. Um. Real quick, I'll be right back. Yeah, no problem. You you know the story. So, they begin talking, and um, she's like, okay, so I want to see how good you guys are at, like, doing a heist. I want to figure out what your weak points are and stuff. Um, so, I have an idea. I'm going to have you guys do a pretend robbery on me. Um, I will pretend I don't know what you're doing, and we'll just see how it plays out, you know? And she was like, oh, the rules are basically you can do anything, you just, of course, you can't kill me, but anything else is fine, you can accost me, you can harm me even, you just can't kill. You can't kill me or anyone I've hired. 
just so it doesn't go too far. And she was like, there's no time limit. No, except like not too late, obviously. You know? So you have time to plan this out. You can do whatever you want to plan this out. You can try to question me. I will pretend to be none the wiser unless you be too obvious. You can try to question anyone else. You know, just pretend this is a normal heist. So that's why I was saying that this is like a setup for something that what they could think about what to do and plan for, and then we would see how things went next next session. Um. So she gave them all these terms and conditions. She's like, she showed them an illusion of what they had to rob, and the party immediately like starts asking. She said, by the way, uh, when it, when we whenever you start is when we start, and we do not finish until we finish. So the party, uh, one of the party members started asking, they're like, okay, up front, do you have the ring on you? She was like, no. They passed an insight check. She did not have the ring on her. And that's really where it should have ended, right? <laughs> no. No, that's not where it ended. So the owl and rogue decided he would try to pickpocket her while she was there. He went for it. Um, got caught with a very terrible roll. <laughs> and the party... I don't even really know if the party knew what happened. It all happened so quickly. The party was just immediately in rob mode. They started accosting her and attacking her. And it was like, okay, I guess we're doing the heist right now? I had to remind the party that she said... She didn't have the item on her. And they're like, why are you- there is a lot of- one, one player was actually kind of zoning out, did not expect us to start fighting. Hi, Snacka! Welcome, Snacka! Welcome, welcome to the stream! No, no! I just came back! I'm retelling the story of our last D&D session. <laughs> the- the- yeah, so I, I just got to the part where you guys started attacking Madame X, the bartender. I was Even... so tired. I just followed Riffy. I mean, looking back now, I'm just like, why did I even do that? <laughs> yeah. So combat starts. They try to paralyze her. She succeeds on not being paralyzed. And she, she runs out of the bar because she's getting in character of someone getting robbed, obviously. Someone being robbed will not just stand there and take it. They will try to flee for their life. Yeah. So the party has to chase her out. She's like outside screaming for help. And they're just trying to like knock her out as fast as they can. The now the Alan decides this is the perfect opportunity to go to her house and try to rob it since these guys are handling her. No, we um, weren't, but sure. <laughs> So, uh, he flew off and left the party to deal with her. <laughs> um... I will admit, me and Terrence were so baffled by how things happened. We were just like, we don't even know, like, how to deal with anything right now. Hey, you have a week to think about it. Or no, you have less than a week now. <laughs> yeah. I, I think we're all just trying it. to forget it. <laughs> <laughs> We're just all trying to forget about it. <laughs> We're just like, can this be a fever dream that we all had? Unfortunately, no. <laughs> I know. It's, I it's okay. We'll, we'll figure it out. See? Did you find it? Hold on. I thought I got something here already. Oh, can't you, like, get the bugs over and over again? Oh, that's true. Yeah, I can. I, I should check anyway, but I think I did get this one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you got this one. Freaking birds. So anyway, um, you guys, like, they eventually were able to, like, tie her up and grapple her. They, like, knocked her out and put her in the cellar. What they don't know is that she was pretending to be knocked out. They made a deception check roll to see if she could pull them and to think she was unconscious. But she was pretending. It's not like she was just, like, you know... She was yeah, just we didn't want to kill her. her like we, yeah, we didn't want to kill her or anything. We just wanted to knock her yeah, out. Yeah, so she was like, okay, this is. I'm just going to pretend we knocked out at this point. <laughs> and we'll see how this goes. She was also like, what is happening? <laughs> she was like, okay, this is what's happening now. I will go along with this. 
I did try to say like, hey guys, you can always try to convince her to like let you start over. But it was it would have been pretty hard to convince her, I will admit. Yeah. After all that. So they tie her up, they they leave her in the cellar of the bar. And um Riff uh Oswald, who is Riffy, <laughs> uh goes to this house. He finds that the the rival party that they uh wait no wrong way. The rival party that I mentioned earlier was hired to guard this house that she was hiding the ring in. Um so he's like, okay, by himself, how do I get in here without them seeing? So if you recall, he gave him a note. So he shows up and immediately is like, he was actually stealthing, but he got caught. So he prefaced this. Thankfully, the person who found him was the person who he gave the note to and was like, hey, I'm here to discuss the note. So he had a totally plausible reason to be there. And with a very lucky persuasion check, convinced them that they needed to go to the bar to discuss the terms of the job. And he was able to get in the house with no problems. Mind you, we are all at the bar with Madam X, who we just attacked. Yeah, so he sent them all to the bar. His and party like, doesn't the know the that he sent them to the bar. He just sent them all to the bar <laughs> with no communication about it. <laughs> Was it up here? No. Okay, still lost. I'm looking for the bridge with the tree. Oh. But I don't think I've found it yet. Because this bridge doesn't have trees any, like, right next to it. So yes, I am lost. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Um, I'm also telling the D&D start at the same time, so I'm like, yeah. what? Bark! Oh, yeah. no, I got this one. Never mind. I got that one. So... He is robbing the place, trying to look for this ring. While the party's at the bar. Now, Terrence the wizard is like, okay, I'm gonna look around the bar. I'm gonna use detect magic and see if I can find anything suspicious. He gets a sense of a very powerful illusion spell coming from underneath the bar. It turns out to be where they left Madam X in the cellar, and it's coming from her. So he dispels magic, makes a very high check because it was gonna be it was a very difficult spell to dispel, and reveals that she is actually uh, an elf in disguise. And yeah, she was she as soon as the spell breaks, she wakes she like pretend or pretends to wake she up. She opens was awake. her eyes, yeah. She opens her eyes. And she's like, Well But um, I guess we're doing this now. And that's where the game end oh yeah, the game ended as these these guys that Oswald sent over are knocking on the bar. So there's a lot of stuff happening. Yes. So what should have been a very simple session with a lot of just like talking about stuff and planning um turn into combat um a lot of r lucky rolls and some unlucky unlucky choices and revealing a secret that I wasn't planning on revealing for like another few levels. To be fair though, Riffy was rolling terribly until that one part that he absolutely had to. <laughs> yes. Didn't he roll like nat one three times? He did roll a nat one like three times. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta mistake your way into a win. Very true. I guess. A few times, Rune was like, can we just start over? And I was like, mmm... <laughs> I'm sorry, it's a little too far to <laughs> And honestly, like, I'm glad you didn't. Because it's, it's just like, yeah, this is the grave we dug. Let's let's do it. Yeah, now we, got, now we see where it goes. And you know yeah. what? It's actually... I mean, it's not... I will say, it led somewhere very interesting for this game. Yes. <laughs> Yes, it did. But yeah, what was, what was I, 
Yeah, you turned a week of planning for a pretend heist to a week of just thinking about what you're supposed to do with all the stuff that happened. <laughs> Alright. Well, I didn't find the bug. I might as well just go to the lake now. <laughs> or not the bug, the, the heart. Whatever. I'll look for it later. I spent literally like 40 minutes running around doing this thing. <laughs> But also talking about D&D. Yes. Alright, Minna. You don't want to teleport me? You want me to go to Lake Temple? That's where we're going now. I hope you're happy. I gotta say though, like sessions like that are kind of like the best sessions sometimes. Maybe not like in the moment, but they're like the best to talk about. Yes. Because we would not have as much fun talking about it if it was just a planning session. True. This is why I like D&D. It gets freaking wild when you do improv games like this. <laughs> I'm a fishy! I thought you were a ring-tailed cat. Now I'm a ring-tailed fish. Wow. Are you very fond of swimming? I do like swimming. Me too. Yeah. Stripey fish. I'm Nemo. <laughs> but I got fuller stripes. I just find being in the water very relaxing. Yes. What is color of beans? My beans be pink. I got pink beans. I know it's very, very generic color, very, but pink. I like pink. It's like um, the same pink that's like the light pink in my ears, inside my ears, my inner ear. Thank you for asking. These are important questions to get answers to. Can I talk to you? You're too busy swimming. <laughs> That's okay. Sir, you wear the garb of the hero in my people's legends. Are you perhaps... Well met, my dear hero, I'm a maker of bombs. Pardon me for asking, have you heard of water bombs? They are very dangerous indeed, but you should be able to master them. I'm sure you would find them quite useful. How would you like to buy some of my homemade water bombs for, 50 for 90 rupees? Yes, please. I need bombs. Get rid of your rubies before you go into that. True, I need. I, I'm gonna buy everything. I won't hesitate. <laughs> Especially now that I have some bugs for Agatha. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like more rubies. Rupees. Almost all the money I spent. Never mind, I still have a little bit more. Whoops. Ah! <laughs> That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> Alright. Now, I just gotta do this. Here 
carry my bomb up for me. Bam. What? Bam. I need a bit more. Bam, energy. bam. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. There we go. The way to the water temple is open. Yay. You did it. I did do it. But before we go in, we're going to take a quick break. I say as I go in. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we'll be right back. Take a second to get a drink, get a snack, and we'll see you very soon.